Welcome to the TubeBuddy Express podcast, brought to you by TubeBuddy, the number one tool to make your YouTube life easy. Each week, we discuss how you can utilize TubeBuddy to enhance your YouTube experience and make your life as a creator easier. And now, here's your host, Dusty Porter. Hello, and welcome to episode two of the TubeBuddy Express podcast. First, I just want to say thank you for everyone who has listened to the first couple episodes. We've gotten some great feedback uh, as the stats show through our hosting account. We are getting a ton of listens and downloads on the podcast, and for that, we are ever so grateful. Uh, as always, I do want to remind you that obviously the TubeBuddy Express show is brought to you by TubeBuddy. You'll be hearing TubeBuddy tips in this podcast. You'll be hearing news, tips about YouTube, and then we will even have the occasional interview with uh YouTubers who are using TubeBuddy and what it's done to help improve their channel. I do want to announce a giveaway. If you go on over to iTunes and leave us a five-star positive rating and review on our iTunes page there, it does help the show grow and helps it rank in like new and noteworthy and top podcasts there in iTunes. If you can do that for us and then shoot us an email to tubebuddyshow at gmail.com with your first and last name, We're going to be doing a drawing for some TubeBuddy swag. You can choose between a t-shirt or a coffee mug. And all you have to do, again, is go on over to iTunes, leave us a five-star rating and review, and then shoot us an email to tubebuddyshow at gmail.com. So the last thing that I do want to mention, if you're looking for an interview-based show in which I interview YouTube creators each and every week and talk with them about the strategies and tips and techniques that they use to grow their YouTube channels, that can be found over at the YouTube Creators Hub podcast. All of the links will be in the show notes if you're interested in that. And again, my name is Dusty. I will be bringing you the TubeBuddy Express podcast each and every week. We'll be talking about a specific TubeBuddy feature. We'll be talking about some YouTube news, and then we'll be possibly interviewing some creators and asking them how they're utilizing the plugin themselves. So let's dive in to today's show. Today, I want to talk about the automatic upload to Facebook feature. So there's a number of reasons why this feature is so fantastic. Obviously, being able to upload your video onto your YouTube channel and then clicking a button and automatically having it upload to your Facebook account. Now, the beautiful thing about that is that you can also have different options to choose from, like you can include the same description, you can include the thumbnail or not. You can decide what you want the video to look like once it is uploaded on Facebook. Not only can you do that for one video, but you can also use the batch upload to Facebook feature for your older videos and actually schedule them out so each and every day you're having a new video released and new content. It looks like fresh content released onto Facebook. And the other reason why this is so important is because Facebook video is only going to grow. Once they open up the floodgates and allow people to monetize their content on Facebook, that's going to bring a whole flood of new creators on over to Facebook because the reason why YouTube is a little bit ahead of them in the game as far as creators go is because they're allowing them to monetize and make a business out of their video content. And as soon as Facebook allows this to happen, you will see a flood of creators go on over there and at least test the water out. So you definitely want to have a presence on Facebook and begin building that presence. And by using the automatic Facebook upload feature with TubeBuddy, you're able to do this very, very quickly and build that presence without very much work, additional work from yourself. As far as once you've uploaded the video to YouTube, it can automatically then be uploaded to Facebook. Now, as far as YouTube news this week, there's a lot going on in the YouTube space. I'm not going to be covering uh, any drama on this show. That's not what this show is about. This is only for creators to help them create better content. So it's only going to be new features, things that are going on in the online video space. So if you're looking for a show that's going to provide you with like YouTube drama, he said, she said this, that's not this show. This is going to be strictly for helping creators further their channels and have a better presence with online video. So as far as the news goes, obviously we know that YouTube is releasing, uh, rolling out, it's already started rolling out, the feature on their mobile app to allow people to live stream. So if you know apps such as Periscope, Meerkat, Facebook Live, things like that, you're going to have a button on your mobile YouTube app, creator app, that's going to allow you to push that button and directly stream from your mobile device. Now they're a little behind the game in this because obviously 
obviously Facebook and other places are already doing this and very well. Uh, but what I have seen is that YouTube is taking note of this. And normally what they do is they see how everybody else does it and then fix all of the features. And normally when they release the product, it's much better than anything else that's out there. Now I have used this feature, the live streaming feature on mobile devices, and I can tell you that it's done really well. Now there are some kinks and some bugs in the system, and I'm sure they're going to iron those out. But if you're looking for a, another way to broadcast yourself live from your mobile device, you're now going to be able to do it from the YouTube app directly associated with your YouTube channel. So another way to be out and about and bring content to your viewers. So there's so much obviously that you can do with that. I'm not going to go into that, but that is coming. Also the new end cards feature, allowing you to link out and directly have links on mobile devices. Thank goodness, right? Being able to have links on mobile devices is coming. That's something that YouTube has said they wanted to do and they've been wanting to do that for a long time. So if you don't know, when you're doing annotations or YouTube cards, you cannot link on mobile devices. So all of those like links that you see when you're watching a video on your computer and you can click out and go to that site or go to that additional video, you haven't been able to click on those links on a mobile device. So with that being said, YouTube is now going to begin rolling out that feature to where you can now click those links and the links will be clickable on your mobile devices, on your tablets, on your smartphones. So that is is indeed a fantastic feature. Now, in closing on this show, I do want to let you guys know the format of this show is not going to take a whole bunch of your time when it's released. It's going to be around 7 to 12 minutes, depending on the news and the topic that we cover that week. So what I want you guys to do is to email me at tubebuddyshow at gmail.com with features and news and things you want me to discuss about YouTube and about the online video space. That way, in future episodes, I might can bring some of you guys on to talk about what you like about TubeBuddy, some features that you want to see released, as well as what's going on with your YouTube channel and some tips and tricks that maybe you want to share with our TubeBuddy Express audience. So if that's what you want to do, again, email us at TubeBuddyShow at gmail.com. I would really appreciate the feedback there. Let me know what you think about the show. If there's something we can do differently and there's some things you want to see added to the show, I will be more than happy to listen to your feedback and see if we can add what you're wanting to this show. This is going to be a one-stop shop for all things YouTube. If that's the show you're looking for, this is it. It's going to be in bite-sized chunks, not going to take a whole bunch of your time because I know as creators, we're all busy. A lot of times, most of us have full-time jobs that we're having to juggle between the content that we're creating. So if that's you, this is definitely the show for you. So go on over to iTunes, subscribe, leave us that feedback, uh, enter yourself into the drawing to get some TubeBuddy swag. I have a TubeBuddy t-shirt myself. I have a TubeBuddy coffee mug. All of them are high quality and you can rep one of the best companies on the web. So again, my name is Dusty. The name of this show is the TubeBuddy Express podcast. Look forward to it each and every week within your podcast player feed. And guys, until next time, keep pressing record.